Sustainable development is one of the most important ideas to come out of the 20th century. And in the next couple of minutes, I want to explain sustainable development and talk about why it matters to the United States. Everyone who reads and watches TV knows that environmental degradation around the world is a growing problem. And you also know that poverty around the world is a serious problem. More than a billion people live on less than a dollar a day. And the question is, what are we going to do about it? In 1992, in Rio de Janeiro, the United Nations held a conference on environment and development called the Earth Summit. At the Earth Summit, nations from all over the world agreed to an ambitious, some would say audacious, plan for sustainable development. And they agreed to work on sustainable development both within their own countries and in their international activities. The United States participated actively in this summit and under the first President Bush agreed to this audacious, if you will, plan for sustainability. Now what does the plan do or say? Well, the plan starts with the proposition that it is modifying a, a, a long-term concept or a long-held concept called, called development. And at the international level, development is about achieving peace and security, economic development, and social development or human rights. And the idea is that if we do those things, then we increase human freedom and opportunity around the world and improve human quality of life. And development is not a technical term, really. It's a pretty good definition, if you think about it, of what we mean by progress. Since the end of the Second World War, we have not had a Third World War. Economies around the world have grown. People are better educated. People are living longer. Uh, and, and in a lot of ways, things are better than they were at the end of the Second World War. The problem is, is that we have environmental degradation, an issue that has is, is really not been very effectively dealt with uh, on, until very recently and frankly is, still needs a lot of, of, of work. And, and the problem here is that in, the environmental degradation has gotten to the point where it's getting in the way of and impeding our ability to move ahead on economic growth, our ability to ensure that people are healthy around the world and our own security. And, and, and what sustainable development does, what sustainable development does is it changes the role of environment in human affairs. We have been thinking for a long, long time that environmental degradation was simply the necessary price of progress. In a sustainable world, by contrast, improving and restoring the environment is part of what progress means. Not at the economy's expense, uh, because what we're looking at in a sustainable world is, is moving ahead with environmental protection and restoration, economic development, peace and security, and social development, or human rights, all at the same time. So the thought is, the thought is, is that if we can do all of those things at the same time in an increasingly crowded world, we can improve human freedom and opportunity and improve human quality of life. That's what sustainable development is about in a nutshell. Now, another way to understand sustainability is to ask the question of what is it intended to address or what is it intended to solve. And what sustainable development is intended to address is environmental degradation and large-scale poverty. So one way of understanding whether we are moving in a sustainable direction is whether we're improving environmental quality and reducing uh, uh, large-scale poverty. Now, sustainable development is not a discrete category. It's not a specific thing that you can point to. It's a way of thinking about and acting on a great range of issues. Uh, and, and what happens basically is what we're looking at is incorporating environmental considerations into the de decisions that we make and incorporating environmental goals into the decisions that we make. That's the basic idea from an environmental sustainability point of view of, 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 of what we're trying to achieve and, 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 and how it would work. Now there's a large question on the table about whether sustainable development is a journey or whether it's a destination. And in some ways, it's both. It's a destination because it's going to take a couple of generations to get there. Uh, uh, and, and, and a lot of us probably would not even fully recognize a sustainable society if we, if we lived in one or wouldn't recognize it as something that is exactly consistent with what we're living with now. 
On the other hand, the steps that we take in a sustainable direction now, the steps that we take on this journey, are important steps. And, and they are steps that, that, that move us in the direction of greater environmental protection. They move us in the direction of, of poverty reduction. And so, there's a, so that while we are on a journey, the destination, the destination is, 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 is quite some ways away. Recognizing the distinction between the journey and the destination is important for two reasons. One is, if we treat the journey and the destination as the same, we're acting as if on a trip from New York to California, we're already in California when we've just left New York. And that's not a very thoughtful way to talk about sustainable development or traveling from New York to California. The steps that we take here and now are steps that might not be good enough in a sustainable society, but they're better than where we are uh, at the present time. The other reason it's important to, to, to think about this in terms of the, 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 the journey um, is that there are steps that we can take on the journey towards sustainability that are actually quite significant. And there are steps that we can take that sound good, but that really don't amount to much. Imagine, for example, a corporation that says, well, hey, we're a sustainable corporation. We have aluminum can recycling in our lunchroom. OK, that's nice, but it doesn't amount to very much. Uh, in, in being sensitive to serious steps towards sustainability versus not so serious steps towards sustainability is important as well. Now, when we talk about sustainability, and when a lot of people talk about sustainability, they make some very, very good points. They say, well, look, if we move towards sustainability, we're going to be more secure. Uh, people will be healthier. We will have many more jobs, the economy will grow, and so forth. And those are all good reasons to work towards sustainability. But I think there's another dimension to this, and, and it's important, and it, and it can't be, I think, overstated or ignored, and that is a religious and even or ethical dimension to sustainability. When we damage the environment, sooner or later we hurt someone else. A world that we did not create is in some ways sacred. And when we think about our children and our grandchildren and the people who will come after us, it's hard to escape the conclusion that we have some ethical or moral or religious obligation toward them. And that's a dimension that I think needs to be understood as well. Now, why should the US care? Well, a basic reason that the United States ought to care about sustainability is that the goals of sustainable development, freedom, opportunity, and quality of life, are goals that we hold dear. When the aging veteran stands on a platform next to a cemetery on Memorial Day or on the 4th of July and talks about what is important to the United States, that veteran talks about those values. Beyond that, as we work, go into a, 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 a world of growing population and growing economy, uh, uh, where, where we have serious constraints on, on our use of resources that are both about availability and about the, 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 the ability of our ecosystems to tolerate a lot of stress, we will be in a stronger, better position to address those issues if we, are, um, if, if, if we have reduced our environmental impact, if we have strengthened our economy as a consequence of that uh, and made ourselves more secure. And for, 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 for so many reasons, then, uh, sustainable development is profoundly in, 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 in our national interest. Now, there are many things that we need to do, all of us, to move sustainable development forward. And, there, and, and pretty much in every activity uh, uh, that we engage in, in pretty much every walk of life, there are things that we can do to get engaged. And not just as individuals, but also things that government can and should do, that corporations can and should do, and all the other organizations in, in, in which we're involved. And, 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 and that's, that's the important work of, 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 of this and the next generation. And in its, in its work that uh, we, we all ought to find a way to play a role in. Thank you.